Hi everyone, and uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to talk about TVs. Now, most of you have probably got like a 240 volt TV. I've got one down here. I'll just turn the camera around, and then, uh, or maybe not. There you go, all taken apart. Now, I have had this, this TV apart before because the uh, aerial lead had broken. So I've actually just wired a connector, just an, off, just an old lead, and I've soldered it onto there. Now if you have a look here, this is where the DVD player and all that plugs in. This is where the 240 volt plugs in. But what we're actually after is this little thing here. If you have a look, power upgrade, 12 volts. So 12 volts there and negative there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to solder some wires to there. And we'll see if this can be powered up by uh, 12 volts. So I'm going to go and get the soldering iron, get some cable, carry on. Right, so I thought I'd just set up the camera. I've got my soldering iron, and I actually am doing it on a carpet, so I don't really want to burn the carpet, so that's on. Okay, so I've got my multimeter, and uh, I found a little lead. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to I've already done a polarity test on which one's which. One's which. So I'm going to uh, put some heat shrink. That should put a bit too big. I'm going to wrap them a little bit. These are CAN bus wires from a car. So I'm going to uh, put the heat shrink over, like so. And then I'm going to twist the wires, keep them nice and trim and then I'm going to tin them I'm going to tin this weird, I think the light's a lot, not very good light is it? right I forgot my solder back in a minute right, so we've got a torch Looks what we're doing. Got my solder. Alright. Tin these up. Don't want to heat them up too much. We don't want the solder to go through the board. Because that would be bad. do that's not the neatest job in the world just going to uh, do a continuity test on the wires okay well that's fine right so the moment of truth okay right let's go on there And we will plug in the 240. Now, let's see if it's just going to go pop. Because <laughs> it could be quite funny, really, can't it? Ah! Red light on. Cool. So, oh, where's the buttons. Right, the buttons are on the side here. So no, 240 is not even plugged in. No. Look at that. Now there is a DVD in here. So, we'll see if we can get it to 
work. Ah, well there you go. There you go, 240 plugged. And there's the power pack. Hmm, not quite the right language. But there you go. What was we watching? Ah. So, I think that's mission accomplished really. So it just proves that you can convert a 240 volt TV to 12 volts. Wait a moment, I'm putting all the screws back in the correct place. Because some of them are set screws. And you can always tell how to do TVs because the screws that actually take the back off there's a little arrow in the plastic there's only those that you have to undo all the others not that there is to be fair hmm. that one's in the wrong place so we've got a set screw Otherwise they just won't grip and because you've got your your TV bracket that's actually on the board so I've got both of them coming out of there sort of magnetize this Okay, so that's the wall bracket back on. And it's all back together. So let's turn it back, let's plug it back in. There you go, good enough. Ah, I've left a screw out. When was that? Ah, there it is. So it's happy purring away. DVD's in. What we could do, uh, I haven't got any flash drives, but there you go, jobs are good in. Well I think that is mission accomplished, so uh, there you go, 240 volt TV, not plugged in, plugged into the old snap on power pack, and now we can put that in the van, and we haven't got a running inverter, so uh, Happy days. Works perfect. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.